Good afternoon, everybody. So thank you very much for joining our uh, IEEE Sequence System Society YouTube channel for this uh, IEEE Sequence System Society Rio uh, Grande Sul chapter and the Calcium EDA chapter Brazil. So today we have uh, the pleasure to have here Bernardo Culau from Silvaco, Porto Alegre that will talk about the uh, Silvaco Research Center in Brazil. Uh, so Bernardo is the director of library characterization at Silvaco and leads Silvaco operations in Brazil. He joined Silvaco in 2018 as part of the acquisition of Nungate, where he had worked for nine years. At the Nungate, he developed the eight tools for library characterization and delivered the standard cell library IP for multiple foundries and technology nodes. So Bernardo holds a computer engineering degree from uh, Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Sul, here at Porto Alegre, uh, together with the uh, uh, Institut National Polytechnique de Grenoble of Grenoble in France. So thank you very much, Bernardo, to accept to give this talk uh, today. Thank you, uh, Professor, uh, for the invitation and introduction. Thank you all for your job. Looks like we are all set. Okay, so uh, let me start by talking a little bit about uh, Silvaco. Uh, Silvaco was founded in, in 1984. Uh, it is one of the, the old guard of the Silicon Valley companies. Uh, a little trivia here, perhaps. Uh, the name Silvaco uh, stands for Silicon Valley Company. So it gives an idea, uh, the company being there from, from, from the early days. Uh, today it has over uh, 250 employees around the globe and uh, its university program has over 200 universities. Some of them are uh, here in Brazil and also in Mexico, just to, to mention uh, Latin America ones. Uh, over all those years, uh, Silvaco has uh, solved uh, semiconductor design challenges by offering uh, affordable and competitive uh, EDA uh, software, uh, proven design IP, and world-class uh, support to engineers and researchers, researchers uh, across the globe. Uh, Silvaco software solutions is spam from from atoms to systems, as, as we say. So from molecular behavior impacting semiconductor devices uh, to design and analysis of transistor circuits, and finally to complex IP blocks uh, for system on chip designs. And Silvaco truly has a global presence with R&D centers and sales office uh, spread all over the globe. Uh, developing solutions and uh, supporting our customers. Uh, it is no surprise they are mostly concentrated in, in US, uh, Europe and Asia, as, as it is the case for all uh, tech companies. Silvaco has R&D centers in, in, uh, uh, in US and several European countries. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, we have this uh, nice little uh, green dot in Porto Alegre, uh, the only one in the southern hemisphere. Um, Silvaco has uh, collaborators in other locations as well with uh, smaller sites and or even uh, people working remotely. And we uh, in Brazil also directly, directly uh, and constantly. Uh, for guys in, in, uh, in Denmark and India, just for, for example. <clears throat> so uh, our solutions are, are uh, deployed in production flows across uh, broad industry segments, such as uh, leading display companies, automotive equipment suppliers, and uh, top memory, and 5G, Internet of Things. 
and we 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 believe that our connected world is being shaped by the growth of these transformative technologies. They are fundamentally changing the ways we interact uh, with the world, the ways we, we do business, and even the ways we communicate with each other. And all of these technologies rely on semiconductors and the necessary DA software to, to simulate, to analyze, and optimize the performance, their reliability, and their efficiency. Uh, by that, we we conclude that uh, Silvacla is well positioned to, to benefit from these trends uh, with its comprehensive portfolio uh, products and uh, its stronger uh, customer base. Uh, so let's uh, take a quick look at Silvacla uh, technology portfolio. We have our solutions divided into three business units. Uh, first one is TCAD or Technology CAD uh, division, which is leader in display and power devices. We have our analog and custom IC design division and the IP division, uh, including a large design IP portfolio as well as foundation IPs uh, with the library optimization group, which is where uh, the team here in Brazil uh, works. So going a little bit about it of these divisions, uh, TCAD is probably Silvaco uh, is mostly well known and basically consists of CAD tools to, to simulation of semiconductor devices with a complete process and device uh, modeling and simulation flows. Uh, the analog and custom IC design solutions include tools for uh, custom design flow, such as Gateway, which is a schematic editor and schematic viewer, Expert, layout editor, Guardian uh, for DRC LVS physical verification, IPEX, uh, which is a full chip uh, parasitic extraction, uh, and also PDA tools for circuit simulation and analysis, uh, uh, Smart Spice, powerful Spice engine, Smart View, uh, Waveform Viewer, uh, Givaro, which is the tool for uh, an at least reduction uh, analysis and at least reduction platform, Viso for uh, design analysis and exploration, uh, Invar for airdrop and electromigration analysis. Varman for variation aware design solutions and utmost uh, device characterization and, and for spice modeling uh, solutions. Even though the, the projects uh, we are currently working on in Brazil are not with those tools, uh, we have a direct interface and work with uh, some of them that can be combined together with uh, the products that we are involved to provide broader solutions to our customers. The IP division supports and sells uh, silicon proven design IP from major semiconductor companies for automotive, consumer and industrial applications. Suvaco also provides its own uh, Soft IP for digital design that has been used in hundreds of uh, IoT products and, and also an IP management software. Uh, talking about IPs, uh, by the way, we, we, we plan to have a specific talk about our IP portfolio to the Brazilian community uh, sometime soon. So please uh, uh, follow us and stay in touch if you like to, to receive information when that will happen. <clears throat> uh, and last but definitely not least, uh, we get to the library characterization and optimization tools. We will get in more details about this, these tools and how our team's involved with them, uh, because these are the, the products that are being 
develop here in Brazil. And for now, let's just uh, introduce them. There is uh, Cello for uh, layout creation, migration, and optimization platform. Viola, which is our standard cell and IO library cartization solution. And Liberty Analyzer, uh, our tool for library visualization, comparison, and, and analysis. And as part of Suvaco IP portfolio, we also have foundation IPs, which are the, the standard cell libraries developed by our team uh, in Brazil and in other locations uh, that are developed using our tools and uh, commercialized as, as IP products. So um, let's see uh, how our R&D center in, in Porto Alegre really uh, came to be. So uh, in 2018, uh, Silvaco acquired uh, an N-Gate, strengthening its position on library optimization and, and characterization. It's worth mentioning that uh, uh, Nengate had a history working in, in Brazil. Years ago, uh, there was a research collaboration with uh, URGS uh, that started in 2005. And also, during the, the same time period, uh, Nengate had a, a local office in Porto Alegre for uh, development as well. Um, and in Engate, I was leading uh, the characterization product line since uh, 2013, and I was already working in Brazil remotely, uh, collaborating with the, the team in uh, in Silicon Valley, uh, where Engate headquarters was. So uh, after the acquisition, uh, I went to to visit the headquarters as I used to do from time to time. And we discussed the needs for expanding our team. And with that came the, the idea to hire uh, them in Brazil. Uh, at first, uh, we started with, uh, well, we had uh, myself and one other engineer working here on library characterization. And uh, at that point, we decided to, to have two more and, and here in Brazil as well. To, to join the library characterization team, as it was uh, planning to do after the acquisition. And for that, we created a, a, a pilot company set up in Brazil uh, with plans to, to expand that. So uh, why in Brazil? Uh, well, for starters, I was here. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, as they did, they had to, to work with me. That was uh, a strong argument. Uh, but that is, of course, not enough for a company to make its uh, strategic decisions. Uh, based on the previous experience uh, of Nengate, Silvaco learned that they could get uh, skilled engineers in here, and on top of that, for a competitive cost. Um, that is a great combination. Other elements like good time zone to communicate with both uh, United States and, and Europe, uh, good cultural match uh, with uh, people in headquarters and, and the high level set by other Brazilian engineers already working within uh, the company certainly helped make the case. So we put together a nice and small office in a co-working center and, uh, and we got to work. Um, and this pilot kept generating excellent results and the expansion continued. In two years, we followed a solid growth from two to eight engineers in our team. Our presence in Brazil is now uh, solid and we are ready to expand further uh, with additional openings. Uh, the only thing that we are missing <laughs> right now is uh, is a new office. We were supposed to to move earlier this year, but uh, COVID nineteen uh, forced us to to postpone those these plans, which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing in this uh, in this situation. 
we are all safe and productive uh, working from home. And when this is uh, behind us, we'll get a brand new office, include all the new uh, distancing and sanitary protocols, uh, whatever they might be. Uh, and that will be our new home while we keep uh, growing with a nice structure and a happy and nice environment to, to do more. And what are the activities done here in Porto Alegre? As I mentioned before, team in Brazil is all uh, working in the Foundation IP group, uh, which is part of the IP division. That includes uh, Cello, Viola, and Liberty Analyzer tools. Our group is also responsible for the Foundation IP project. Uh, with the library design and library characterization service. But that is uh, just a picture for, for the moment. We see interested in other groups uh, from Silvaco to, to hire people here in Brazil as well. So we could have uh, more Silvaco products being developed in Brazil in the near future. So uh, let me briefly talk about what are uh, those solutions that we are working on uh, here, starting with uh, Cello. So Cello is a powerful backend processing platform for automating uh, layout optimization, migration, and creation. Uh, we know that manual layout optimization uh, requiring engineers to, to move uh, polygon edges uh, around and uh, ensure that the final uh, result is clean is very is a very time consuming task and can take months. So Cello helps with that, providing automatic optimization, rule fixing, and layout editor for manual intervention when when needed. If we talk about the layout migration flow. Uh, that is where we can reuse an existing uh, library, migrating it to, for example, a new technology node or different uh, type of cell architecture. And that provides a, a great speed up uh, compared to doing things from scratch. You can have a, a complete library done in days. <clears throat> and we also can use uh, Cello to create uh, layout from, from an input schematic. Uh, Cello creates the initial layout, optimizes it, and fixes uh, design groups. Uh, my colleagues Osvaldo and Marcos work in, in Cello and made a presentation here uh, in this very YouTube channel uh, a couple of months ago uh, about the challenges. We are currently working in Cello R&D. I invite everyone that is interested in knowing more about Cello to check their, their presentation as well at a later point. <clears throat> so next, uh, Viola is a Sovaco tool for uh, library characterization. It provides uh, accurate and fast characterization results, exploring parallel processing in different levels. Viola is fully compatible with leading SPICE simulators in the market, especially with Smart SPICE, improving high-performance simulator. Uh, the features from its advanced custom flow allow us to support virtually any cell type, including a, a wide variety of I.O. cells and other special cell types like power management cells. And it provides a seamless integration with uh, CBAC verification tools such as Liberty Analyzer, which can be called directed from Viola as a final step of the characterization process. And it is key generating accurate data for our library optimization flows, working together uh, with Cello. Uh, talking a bit more about uh, Viola features. Uh, so its applications, 
include that from, from input files, the identification of the logic and the definition of uh, stimuli uh, and can be done automatically, but also fully configurable by the user if uh, so uh, desired. There are great levels of customization available for other input parameters, uh, such as uh, the waveform of the input stimuli and lookup table definitions. Again, uh, all these configurations uh, can be done with very few uh, user-defined parameters, or if designs or if desired, things can be uh, very customized. In terms of supported cell types, we automatically support a wide variety of standard cells in AO, including some very complex cells. But with the addition of our custom characterization flow, we can support new cell types, non-standard timing arcs, and different initialization strategies. Uh, we can, with that, support virtually any cell type. So, Viral outputs are compatible and ready to be used in any uh, in any tool flow. Uh, our built-in QA includes uh, internal checks for data consistency, completeness, and to ensure that uh, the liberty description matches uh, netlist behavior. Uh, we validate that results respect requirements from the uh, Liberty standard to generate valid Liberty models, including several Liberty syntax and consistency checks. Um, Biola is at the center of uh, Silvaco's variation aware characterization solution. Uh, Biola can drive the statistical characterization and create variation models, such as LVF and AOCV, uh, as we discuss the challenges involved in, in, in those models uh, and, and to, to achieve a, a reasonable performance while doing that, it's, it's quite hard. So, Suvaco developed an innovative flow for creating variational aware libraries, including other tools in the solution. So, in addition to Viola, this flow is completed by other powerful tools such as Smart Spice, Viral, and Varman. Uh, not only that, but uh, the variation aware solution from Sovaco allows a, a much better understanding of the variation impacts in yield and the quality of the libraries that we, we provide. So, uh, to talk about uh, Liberty Analyzer, uh, its uh, usefulness is in, uh, as I mentioned before, comparing and analyzing uh, Liberty files, which are uh, outputs from, from Viola. So it's uh, really a, a, a very good verification uh, mechanism and, and flow to complement our solutions, to validate uh, syntax and, and data consistency, to make sure different uh, libraries are mapping each other in terms of uh, same cells, same things, having the same arcs in different uh, libraries. Uh, it can also, uh, when comparing libraries, uh, standardize values, so we are sure to compare apples to apples and do different kinds of comparisons with that, point-to-point uh, -point comparison, uh, pin, cell, and library levels, and generates all kinds of uh, different reports, such as HTML uh, data books, text reports, uh, data sheets, uh, graphic reports, and even uh, interpolating different libraries to build uh, new uh, Liberty files directly. So, uh, the Foundation IP service is also uh, an important part of our group. Uh, we create the standard cell libraries tailored for our customer applications. We optimize existing libraries, 
covering all types of uh, standard cells that can optimize our customer designs. And we do that using the tools that we develop, uh, making use of decades of experience. We accumulated designing and optimizing libraries uh, from very uh, uh, mature nodes to very advanced ones. And part of those services are library characterization services. Uh, we provide for library characterization services a very simple format. Uh, customer can send us the needed input data, any additional requirements they might have, and we deliver uh, final results completed and fully validated. We, we offer all the advantages of a superior solution, quality of the results, and fast turnaround time while being completely flexible, uh, adjusting, uh, adjusting to, to their requirements and needs. Uh, this can be great from, from outsourcing large jobs to a, a highly qualified team, as well as to cover uh, characterization needs from a, on, a, on a narrow time window, like a short-term deal. We have uh, many years of experience on this, fine-tuning and setting up different characterizations, being able to quickly act on demand, freeing our customer resources and providing the expertise that customers may sometimes lack. And by using our own Spice engine, uh, Smart Spice, we can provide our customers with a bundled solution and, and, and use a very large amount of license to get characterization service done quickly at a very reasonable cost. Uh, we can, of course, provide uh, characterization based on other SPICE engines, uh, but not with the same uh, advantages. Uh, our deliverables in, in this service is not only in the characterization, but in, in library service in general, go through an extensive uh, list of uh, QA checks done uh, during the characterization process and after that with external uh, Silvaco validation methods and even testing it under third-party tools as well so we can assure customers of, uh, of the quality. <clears throat> so uh, from all these uh, products and services uh, what part of that is actually done here in, in, in Brazil? So for Cello, a significant part of uh, R&D is now being done in Porto Alegre. The same is for our library design services. And as I mentioned before, uh, I am uh, in charge of the, the, the characterization product line, being responsible for Biola and Liberty Analyzer. And the R&D and, and characterization services are, are mostly done and, and coordinated from Brazil. Uh, a good deal of these projects, uh, in general being design service or characterization services, is, is completely done uh, here. And, and what do we work with uh, in, in, those, in those tools and, and services? Uh, and, well, basically we do Everything. <laughs> uh, we work in the entire product line. Uh, so our tasks involve uh, specification, implementation, testing, and uh, as opposed to, to only touching a small piece or specific feature, but we, we collaborate in the entire solution, which is a, a very nice advantage, if you ask me, of working in a company uh, with Silvaco size that is not too small, that we do not have a good uh, working structure and perhaps like focus, uh, and not too big that we end up uh, being very far from, from the big picture, uh, only working in a very specific uh, thing. So we, we happen to, to get in contact with a lot of different things instead of completely focusing on just one specific detail for 
very long time. And, and if you want to, to work with uh, any of those things, we, we have openings. Uh, we have a, a highly skilled and supportive engineering team based here in, in Porto Alegre. And we are looking for talented engineers uh, with openings that fit different backgrounds uh, for computer science, electrical engineering, and computer engineering. Uh, it's a great opportunity to work in a relevant high-tech company with an international environment, uh, working with a globally distributed team while still uh, living here in Brazil, in, in, in Porto Alegre. Uh, and who are we, we looking for uh, exactly? So some of the qualifications that we, we look for in, in our applicants. Uh, Red talking about measuring. Uh, English, that is uh, a must have. And it's a must have, uh, I would say, for any work working in, in those fields, even if you're not working directly in a uh, international company at some point you're gonna have to 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 use English to, to do anything on your own because well that's uh, how things are uh, good communication skills strong Linux and scripting skills uh, with uh, any background in circuit design including analog standard cells and memories would be be definitely a plus and being able to be self-driven committed and motivated to, to, to do the work and with an, an unwavering commitment to integrity and professionalism those are the, the are also very important uh, points uh, Especially this, this last one in this in this case, uh, being passionate and focus on improving and specifically making a difference. Uh, that's the, uh, the, the the qualities that we want to have in our team because that's uh, how our team works. Uh, really working not only for for ourselves but uh, trying to, to look at the big picture and making a difference in many different levels uh, for specific details about the the openings uh, you can check the careers page in our corporate website uh, we have a, a nice description for the, the current openings that we have right now so uh, some conductor design challenges span from 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 the levels of atoms, uh, design of systems. Suvaco is uh, committed to address them by developing automated solutions for state-of-the-art industry challenges with competitive and affordable software, design IP, and uh, world-class support for services. And Suvaco is uh, matching growing pace of these challenges and will continue to be uh, the technology behind our customer success. And we have uh, exciting engineering opportunities to be to be a part of this together with a global and, gr and growing team here in uh, Porto Alegre. Uh, additional uh, information or solutions can be can be found on our corporate website uh there we find uh, product briefs for tools and uh even webinars archived with lots of interesting talks uh, on our solutions and <clears throat> and now to 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 conclude my talk i would like to to share something on on what we are doing to boost our office growth that i guess can can perhaps be applicable to 
to other high tech business in the in the region as well. Uh, so how to to boost high tech sector in in our region in Brazil or <clears throat> so headquarters uh, company the corporation wants to see results. There is nothing else really to to expect. So we need to be continuously proving our value. That is what we have been doing here at Servaco in Brazil, and that's why we are um, growing. We need to be cost effective, and that's not uh, necessarily means being cheap. Uh, we have to perform better than our locations for the same or smaller cost. And if we are productive, we do not have to be cheap. So we can always find ways to compete regardless of any other issues we might have as a country. So there is things that we can do. Uh, we have uh, very good universities to provide skilled engineers so much that they sometimes end up uh, going abroad to find work and they find it easy out there. So we as a country need to, to provide reasons for them to, to stay. We need to, to keep our good minds around. So what we need to is to have a, a virtual circle to, to boost our sector. Uh, we attract industry that brings opportunities and with that increase technology transfer to the local community that in turn will foster the academy, attract more students and more business and more opportunities and so it continues. Uh, that circle will give reason to, for our uh, talented engineers to stick around and maybe even return some experienced ones. So I feel uh, very good being able to participate in this process and I hope to contribute much more to, to that. <laughs> uh, maybe what we're doing here is maybe not that much, but it's definitely on, on the right direction. So thank you. Uh, thank you all for, for your time. And uh, I guess we can open to, to questions now. Thank you very much, Bernardo. Maybe you can uh, put your camera on. Sure. So time for questions. So who wants to do questions, please do it in the chat of the YouTube. So um, I can maybe start. Uh, so uh, the cell synthesis that uh, uh, you are, uh, the tools, uh, which technology you can uh, uh, do the automatic synthesis now? So uh, we, we have been working with uh, very advanced technology nodes. Uh, I have been working in projects with, uh, down to, to, to five, seven, uh, nanometer perhaps, uh, uh, really state-of-the-art uh, stuff in the, in the industry. Uh. <clears throat> so when you do the automatic synthesis for uh, uh, bulk CMOS and to thin fats, it's the same tool you, or you have different tools for each technology? Well, to, to create uh, libraries, to create layouts in those, in those technologies, there are uh, for sure different challenges to that. Uh, Cello or to that, that works with, uh, with layouts. Uh, well, we still use the same tool. Uh, it has different modes, uh, so to say, so we can uh, address those challenges. Okay, so we have here a question by Rafael Brum. Do we have Brazilian companies as clients right now? Um, not by now, not at the moment, not that I'm aware of at least. Uh, there has been talks, fortunately, to, to some of the companies and we, we hope to be able to, to be part of the Brazilian community, not only in the development side, but also uh, putting our solutions to to the local 
uh, microelectronics community. community. We have another question by Professor Paulo Cesar Aguirre. So thanks for the presentation. Do you have an internship for undergrad students at Silvaco Porto Alegre? Yeah, that's uh, thank you uh, for your comments and questions. Uh, that's a, a very good point. We we have been as part of our, our growth uh, doing some remodeling. Uh, in the way we, we operate in Brazil, and it is definitely on the plans for for from now on to to have openings for for interns. There was also there is also a question by Professor by Fabio Ramos that is quite similar. So thanks Bernard for the talk. I would like to know how to apply for any future opportunities in Silvaco, Porto Alegre. I mean for my students to mm -hmm. know the how to process sure yeah uh we usually uh put our uh our offers well they are uh, of course available in uh in our website so you can uh check that up and i would also recommend to follow the company profile in on linkedin we also usually put uh offers uh in there and in any case if you or anyone else would be interested, uh, perhaps not for now, but for you know discussing possibilities and uh, and talking about see uh, making them tops available uh, for future opportunities, uh, you can send an email to, to me to reply on the the openings on the website. Uh, all are good options to to move forward. Don't don't hesitate to to contact me directly to. For that. Uh, another question by Marcos Antonio Vieira da Silva. So do you have a, a maximum age for hiring? <laughs> I don't believe there is any any company policy on that, and uh, definitely not on on our group. All that matters is being uh, qualified, <laughs> a good candidate, and uh, willing to to do some hard work. So um, thank you very much, Bernardo, for this very nice talk today. Thank you, thank you, Professor. Thank you for the, the opportunity and uh, and uh, for the opportunity to, to to promote our presence here. That's in the in our best interest as well to to make sure uh, everyone in the in the community knows that we are here and we want to do do our best and and have more people on board. There is very uh, nice amount of people here in YouTube congratulating you for the nice talk. As Augusto Nelsling that uh, is uh, congratulating you and Silvaco for the presentation of the work and uh, many others. So thank you very much again. Thank you. Bye.